Ah, what's going on guys? It's Tony K with Urban Girl Scout Media. Finally got this recorder to work and I am coming to you today living the dream of course. But I'm here to talk to you on this Sunday, May 2nd, early morning, about Aaron Rodgers. Also a uh, plane flying overhead incredibly low if you hear it. So, oh, we're just a few days removed from Aaron Rodgers coming out and saying, hey, I don't want to be with the Packers anymore. Um, it was interesting because it happened right before the draft. Right before the draft, right? Just a day within a day of it. So I'm going to unpack all this as quickly as I can, and hopefully you guys feel comfortable enough to tell me what your thoughts are. First off, uh, the situation is, like I said, he came out within you know about a day of the draft saying he didn't want to play there anymore. He listed three teams as where he would go. The 49ers, the Broncos, the Raiders. Two of those teams being in the same division, but all three of those teams are in two of the toughest divisions within football. I thought that was an incredibly interesting pick of teams. A lot of people say it's because it's on the West Coast. Closer to the West Coast gives him a chance to do some things that he's um, interested in off the field. Whatever. Here's my take. First, um, I don't think Aaron Rodgers actually wants to leave Green Bay. Uh, let's start with the timing. You know, he didn't really give them much of a chance to find a good deal. And he would, if Matt Stafford got the haul that he did, Aaron Rodgers will surpass that very easily. So that's the first thing. I think that he consciously made a decision not to give them enough time to actually trade him, but maybe make some trades to make him happy. Second, Aaron Rodgers is the only fish in that pond, and he is a gigantic fish. He runs that organization in terms of stature. And in terms of the state, he really only has Giannis Antetokounmpo as the only other superstar in the state of Wisconsin. And Giannis is nowhere on Aaron's level. So he would be leaving a small pond that he is, he is the king of. Green Bay media is not going to be too mean to Aaron Rodgers. Okay, The Green Bay Sentinel won't be uh, ripping him down. Nearly the same way some of the bigger city newspapers and writers will when they have the option of going to multiple different sports teams. And then, like I said, the move from a division that for at least next season, if not the next two years, Green Bay should win to the two hardest divisions. I don't think that's a very good spot to be in. So I don't believe that Aaron Rodgers actually wants to leave the Packers. I think he was trying to make a play to get something he wanted, and I have no judgment on that. It is what it is. From the Packers' point of view, though, I think it's time you pull the trigger and you make this deal happen. You figure out a way to trade them. Um, because you have to start thinking long-term. You got maybe two to three years of Aaron at his prime, but you also have to deal with Aaron being Aaron. And... You know, all great talents, there is something that you deal with to have them around. It's just the way the world works. So I'm not even opposed to them going down that route. But I think it lines up very interesting for the Packers to at least consider this. And here's why. You're in a division where if you get a good haul of picks and, and some a decent return on Aaron Rodgers... And again, using Matt Stafford as the starting point, several first-round picks are going to be included in that. I don't think the Packers would be in the longest rebuild ever. Additionally, you're in a division that has the Lions, the inconsistent Vikings, and the who the hell knows what they're going to do Chicago Bears. So the division is, with or without Aaron Rodgers, is still anybody's. It's just more so Green Bay's if he's there. And he's a 10-win per season quarterback, so that really does make it just about perfect for him there. Kind of like Tom Brady with the New England Patriots in their division, where for so many years there just wasn't good teams around them that they were facing in their division. I think it's going to be the same thing here for Aaron Rodgers. I would not give up that aspect alone. So I don't know. I don't know what to expect. I don't think that Aaron Rodgers will get traded. I don't think he's going to retire. He's got a couple of years left where he's going to be the man. 
and I think that he is wanting a better team around him. Let me ask you guys this, though, while you're thinking about it. Have you ever left a job before? <clears throat> Not fired, but you, you decided to leave. And why'd you leave? Was it because of money, people you work with, the people you were around, what it was you were accomplishing? If it's anything outside of the money situation, I think you're kind of in the same boat Aaron Rodgers is. Because that's really what it comes down to. We all want great things. No one here is trying to be a schlub their entire life. So if you make those changes, you're likely making it for something similar to what he's looking to do with his. Granted, work versus sports, there's going to be a little bit of difference there. But I just look at Aaron Rodgers right now, and I, I, I see a lot of what all of us go through. There is no clean and clear way for him to um, succeed without playing this hand. I think if he was serious about leaving, though, he would have done this sooner. Now, of the three teams, last piece here is of the three teams that are on his list. The 49ers, the Raiders, and the Broncos. 49ers are out. They took Trey Lance. Uh, they have Jimmy G. They're out. Raiders and Broncos. So, first off, how exciting would it be to have Aaron Rodgers and Patrick Mahomes play twice a year? That on its own for the next two or three years would be amazing. Um, if I'm the Broncos, I go and make this trade right now. You've been searching for that quarterback. You're not sold on Drew Locke. You have a great team, and you're in a division that, while you're not going to necessarily beat the Chiefs, wild card spot. I think the wild card spot can be very easily obtained, especially in that conference with that division. I think that they could... Um, I think the Chargers are still a year or two away from being really good. And I think that the Raiders, I'm taking them off this trade because I just don't see Aaron and Gruden getting along. Um, I see the, the Broncos is really the team. So if I'm the Broncos, I am, I'm calling Green Bay and saying, what's your price? And I'm trying to work them down just a little bit. I've heard the reports that Aaron wants the general manager gone, the general manager is refusing to trade Aaron, yada, yada. I think the most likely scenario is going to be that Aaron Rodgers gets another skill player or two around him. I don't see him getting traded. It's a bad look for him and the Packers. Even though I think it's the right thing at this point, it's a bad look for both parties. Aaron did take a huge contract. And when you play for a frugal organization owned by the people, not by an individual owner, and you take that kind of money, you're, you're, you're putting in a lot of ingredients for these kinds of issues. I'm not saying who's right and who's wrong. I'm just saying salary cap sport. I don't think that it's, it's as easy as people realize, and you can manipulate the cap all you want, but there's going to be limits. And that's what I think we're finding out here is that Aaron took a nice deal, underpaid, regardless, but in a salary cap sport, every dollar matters. So I think the Packers will make some trades. I think they'll get them some pieces. I'd be surprised if they fired their GM, but that's certainly a possibility if your all-world quarterback of a talent is um, saying that's what it's going to take for him to stay. You may have to. What do you guys think is going to happen? Where do you think he's going to land? Tell me your, your stuff. Tell me your thoughts. I appreciate you guys listening, and this is Tony K. just talking about the Green Bay situation with Aaron Rodgers from Urban Girl Scout Media, living the dream as always.